What's going on, everybody? Today, I want to talk a little bit about this forum post that just went live detailing some of the changes coming to the next season of Battlegrounds, as well as talks of compensation for all the issues that took place in this current season of Battlegrounds. I'm also going to use this video as a way to beg Kabam to make a change to what is sapping the fun out of Battlegrounds for me personally, uh, something that's existed since the dawn of Battlegrounds. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Let's talk about some of the changes uh, that are coming to uh, Battlegrounds for the next season. So there's two major ones, I would say. The first is the Battleground Victory Track Metal Distribution. So this is being updated so that uh, you're actually winning two medals for a while starting out in the Victory Track. That way, if you win one game and you lose one game, you know, you win two medals, you lose one medal, you're still up one medal. Uh, compared to today, where if you win one, you lose one, you have zero medals. So it should smooth out the process a little bit. There will still be times where, you know, you're not winning enough and you still find yourself getting stuck in some of these brackets. And that's just kind of the nature of a competitive game mode. But for the most part, it should smooth out the process a bit. Uh, towards the higher ranks of the victory track, it will still just be one medal, uh, you know, per win. That way, yeah, you, you are going to have to, you know, win a, a good chunk of games to, to make that final push into the Gladiator circuit. But that's the update there. Uh, and then the next big update for Season 8 has to do with the rewards. Now, I'm not going to go through all the rewards. Uh, if you're curious, you can just take a look here. This is the Gladiator circuit rewards, the solo events. Maybe compare this to where you're at in game right now if you really want to see uh, you know, what what sort of updates are coming for you personally. These are the uh, the Alliance events. And then we don't actually have a store update, but they do uh, talk here about it for just a moment. They say, you know, without an update to the store, these rewards will lag behind uh, where we would like them to be. We are prioritizing this store update and should have news to share about it soon. So uh, they're kind of aware right now that this is, uh, you know, half of the rewards that are being updated in, you know, all these events. And then the other half, the Battleground store, uh, you know, it won't be updated uh, quite yet, but coming soon. Let's talk compensation next, shall we? So Kabam says here that Season 7 saw a particularly egregious spike in latency issues for an extended period of time. Blah, blah, blah. We'll be refunding Battleground items spent between April 28th and Wednesday, May 3rd. Uh, including energy, elders' marks, and victory shields. On top of that, all players, all accounts, are just going to get 5,000 trophy tokens. Now, I would say, I don't know if this really covers all of the issues that took place in Battlegrounds. It's probably still going to be a, a little bit of a net loss for some people who just decided, well, screw Battlegrounds. They're, like, unplayable at the moment. Not going to bother. Uh, for some people, it's going to be that way. For other people, um, no, this will this will actually be a huge benefit because uh, they're sending all accounts this. I don't know if you even have to play a battleground in order to get these trophy tokens. Uh, I guess we'll see pretty soon. Um, my feeling on this, or, or just my own personal experience, I would say, is that yeah, there's you know been a lot of issues, especially between this time, sure, but it's not like the issues went away. Uh, and I'm starting to lose hope that the issues um, ever will go away. So I'm going to go ahead and start transitioning into, uh, again, what my biggest uh, personal grievance is with Battlegrounds. Uh, and, and for that, we actually need to look at the known issues board here. Uh, Kabam has like this, you know, this known issues thing um, that anyone could look at. This is just, you know, public. All you got to do is Google MCOC known issues. They'll they'll give you a link right to it. And if we look at battlegrounds, there are certainly some known issues here. Uh, and my hope is that this does not cover everything, um, because nowhere on here is it going to describe the timer issues that uh, I'm going to get into. This one is the closest, uh, where they say, yeah, it's a known issue that the first attacker and defender is auto drafted. Uh, for the user, but I think that's coming out of the banning phase. What I'm going to show you now is just, it's less than two minutes, less than two minutes of edited down issues that I experienced just yesterday. Uh, this was coming out of the, uh, the break that I took from Battlegrounds due to all the issues that were happening during this time period, 
where I was like, okay, you know what? I want to get back into Battlegrounds. Uh, things seem better now, so let me let me start playing Battlegrounds. And then, well, this was my experience. Probably should have thrown the tree in. He's got the regen, and um, I'm not going to really want to use him on defense against uh, against Longshot, you know? One minute, 37 seconds later. Yikes. What did I just say I didn't want to do? Thanks, game. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to use Sorcerer Supreme. I can't pick any of my champs. This is incredible. I'm, it's coming back to me. It's all coming back to me why I love this game mode so much. A few moments later. Mm. I'd love to pick up my tree. There's two seconds on the clock. Come on. Mm. This game is destroying my soul bit by bit, dude. Just trying to get him to uh, throw it out there. Um, there's two seconds still on the clock. This is insane, dude. It's not even like it was. It, it, it went back up to two or something. No, there was. It just went to two. Three, two. Whoop. Nope. Okay. God, the timer is just all over the place. Look how speedy it is at the end here. Two, one, zero. I'm not speeding this up at all. I don't have that capability in the replay. Two, one, zero. That's not two seconds of time, you know? I'll make sure I pick fast enough. Don't worry. Three, two, up. It's, it's really killing the fun for me. And I know some of you are just going to say, uh, just pick faster, lol. And you know what? You would be absolutely correct. You can play around the bugs by just picking faster. I'm aware of this. I think most people are aware of this. I, I was aware of this when I reported the issue to Kabam a year ago during the betas before the mode released eight months ago, where we're still experiencing the issue today. The point is, why? Why does it still exist? This is a very basic part of the game, part of the battleground experience where they say, hey, you've got this much time to make your strategy uh, come to life. You know, try not to screw yourself over for the second and third match. We're going to give you, you know, 10 seconds, 12 seconds, whatever it is. Uh, you got this amount of time left. And I look at that timer and I want to trust it. I want to trust it because the other games I play, I can trust their timers. Why can't I trust it in an MCOC? What the hell's going on here, man? There's a few issues here at play. Uh, there is, uh, you know, again, sometimes the timer just ends at two seconds. There's the issue where the timer just speeds up because I, I guess there's, you know, latency issues. The fir these first two things are probably both latency issues where uh, the timer will just speed up because it's trying to catch up because it realizes it got out of sync with the server. Uh, and then there's another issue where it's supposed to lock into whatever champ you have set as a placeholder. So let's say with five seconds left on the clock or even, even at the very start, 10 seconds left on the clock. You click on Rocket because that's who you want to play. If you don't lock that in, well, at the end of the 10 seconds, it should give you Rocket. Uh, again, probably another latency issue. By the way, uh, I was monitoring my, my internet. I, I monitor it like crazy while I'm streaming. No issues on my side. You guys know how fast I am to blame Comcast, but they've been flawless uh, ever since the 400th visit. Uh, they've been absolutely flawless. No complaints. What a beautiful company. Uh, it's, you know, I, I'm monitoring the, the, the download speeds, the upload speeds, any sort of frame drop issues, latency, all that stuff, man, no issues. So it's definitely something, whatever, whatever, you know, servers, uh, I don't know if Kabam is using uh, Google servers or whatever they're using, man, it doesn't matter, uh, from our end. The point is they suck. <laughs> it's, it's not working. And then on top of it, it also just might be a bad timer by design. I might be thinking like, what do you mean, man? A bad timer by design? Well, let me show you a good timer. So this is Dota 2. Uh, you don't need to know anything other than you can see a timer in the top middle screen. And then also, let me pause this actually. Uh, you could see there's actually like 10 slots uh, at the top of the screen. 
that's you know it's a five versus five game and this is just a like a bot match no one has has picked any characters yet right uh and once that timer goes down it's going to automatically just fill in everyone's characters all right so uh three two one zero boom fills it in right all right this is very different from from uh kabam F four three two one zero and then it goes well why does it hang on zero like that is that actually a good thing well let's go to uh this is onlinestopwatch.com where if you google this this is the, the the first thing that pops up if you just type in online timer um so yeah let's let's see how this site works okay so i set it to five seconds four three two one zero and then it gives us the whole second there well why is that well this site shows something a little different actually one zero i'm gonna pause it there's a thousand milliseconds that count down uh for every second um it just doesn't you know in, in, in like dota for example it doesn't have to show the milliseconds it's just kind of assumed um that yes there's not a full second on the clock so it's going to show zero because that's that's the, the number of whole seconds that are there zero while it's still counting down the milliseconds now here's the thing kabam's not the only one with a bad timer in my opinion because i guess this is up for debate uh, Google itself has a timer. Uh, sure, it's not a whole website dedicated to a timer. Um, so maybe they're not trying to make it the best. But uh, you can see here the timer. It'll it'll count down five, four, three, two, one. And, and then it actually, you know, ends. But I think this is bad because look how long it's on five seconds for. There's not five whole seconds uh, at, at this point. You know, we've already gone through... Uh, most of this second it would be the same thing if you're using like a stopwatch it's not going to show a full second until it actually gets there um and then funny enough if we look at a different example here uh I, i've got uh, a timers open in ios here this is you know like stock apple whatever feature right uh if you look at their timer they do it even different from from all all these other examples two one zero oop time's up that was a little that was a little fast for zero right well the way i think apple's doing it is they round up or down based on how many milliseconds are there so if there's 500 milliseconds of course they round up to the the nearest whole second and if it's less than uh you know 500 milliseconds they round down giving this odd sort of in between time of zero but only for half a second so it's weird, man. Uh, uh, everyone seems to, uh, you know, program the timers differently. Uh, I think personally, it's pretty clear which timer is best, but I guess it's up for debate. Uh, I just kind of wanted to point all this stuff out because it actually does eat me up inside to the point where I, I don't want to play the game mode anymore because uh, I'm used to playing games where if they tell you you have a certain amount of time to think, you have that much time to think. There's no, there's no fix here of Kabam just being like, oh, well, let's just, we'll just put two more seconds on the clock then. It doesn't matter how much time there is. Uh, 12 seconds, 10 seconds, they could give us five seconds per match. I'll get my pick in as long as I know I, I can trust that actual timer. But it's so important for the strategy in games that I need to be able to rely on that timer. Otherwise, it just feels like an incomplete game mode. And it's never going to change. Yes, I could pick faster, but... I, I, I feel like I shouldn't have to. I need to just be able to trust the game that I'm playing. Okay, rant over. Um, I, let me know what you guys think, but really just trying to give this feedback to Kabam. So whether you think I'm right or wrong or not, eh, eh, this, is, this is just some feedback uh, for Kabam to ultimately decide what to do with. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.